Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone show. The Rock Interview is so pleased to have on a guest that we've had on the show before. He's an incredible singer, songwriter, actor, and producer, Mark Colley. Mark, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. It's good to be back. You know, uh, it, it's been a while since we talked, you know, and it's always amazing to me, you know, when I get to see you on shows like Nashville and, you know, and, and, and The Punisher and all these different things. But now you've got a brand new album out and I've really enjoyed uh, listening to this uh, Book of My Blues. Tell me about this. Well, it's a um, 15 song collection, uh, sort of a telling of a tale. Much of it is about me and lessons I've learned, and but it's derived from the telling of a story called The Rockabilly Hitman, mm -hmm. which is a story that's sort of been walking around in my head for some time. And I've been working through it with my good friend and screenwriter, Jonathan Hensley. And uh, we're looking forward to that being in graphic novel form later this year. And then whatever comes next with it. but. It was an opportunity for me to sort of put songs together that are derived from the telling of this tale. You know, it's very interesting listening to it too, Mark. And, and certainly, you know, you've had uh, so many hits on the charts and everything over the years. But, uh, but with this, you know, it, it, it is such a storytelling method, you know, that you're using in this to where I got to tell you, it lends itself to a film, TV, documentary, Jesse Wayne Harden is our hero in the story, or our anti-hero. And he's a roadhouse rockabilly singer-songwriter, uh, which is his day job. And uh, after hours, he's an avenger of evil. So it's a story of, uh, uh, it's an adventure tale. And uh, the themes I have shared before are of love and lust and wins and losses and betrayal or another Tuesday in the music business. I think you just wrote a song right there. I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm mean, i gonna save this and you know, I mean, I think that's a song in itself. But the, the songs, uh, most of them are, are new uh, and a few of them are selected songs that I've had uh, sort of in my arsenal or my catalog that sort of fit where the story was going. And many of those songs are just about where I was at the time or where I've been. I've said that th this is a story of the crossroads uh, for our character, oftentimes making the choices, the right choices, uh, listening to our better angels or to that other guy on the other shoulder and trying to make the choices in life that we do. And I've, I've, I've been standing at m most of those crossroads in this story. And that's why. I've, from a songwriter standpoint, I was able to sort of sing this song from a, a, a different perspective mm -hmm. and, to, and to create this record from the, from the perspective of storytelling. I've said that my first, the first records that really affected me as a kid were uh, Willie's uh, Red Headed Stranger and uh, Bobby Bear's Lullabies, Legends and Lies. And, uh, and all the cash records, it took me places, put me on a train, took me wherever I wanted to go. Right. I felt like for me, having an opportunity to sort of put a record together like that with some new music. And, and then as Willie did Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain, which was the biggest hit off of that record, which was a Fred Rose tune from decades mm -hmm. before. Uh, and so I went decades before me and I covered Carl Perkins and Ronnie Hawkins and the Hawks. And, and I, I took a shot at the, my old piano playing days when I was rocking the honky tonks in Memphis. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I sort of did a, a reinterpretation of Night Train to Memphis on piano. The piano really stood out. And uh, I got to say, too, listening to the entire album, I love your version of Matchbox. It's just, <laughs> Thank you. It's just, it's just rollicking. And to where, you know, and your voice sounds better than ever. I got to bring up, though, too, you had a few other friends on here, like mm -hmm. Bill Bob Thornton. I mean, you, you brought in some, some A-listers with you on this. Well, when it comes to writing songs, I love to write songs with people I know and trust. And, and Billy Bob is a trusted uh, soul and song, brother and song. And, 
I called him and told him where I was with his story. We just sort of shared with him the lyric. And I said, I need to know where this chapter ends. And can you help me? And he's, he's a brilliant uh, storyteller and writer. And so, and I was glad to have him on board with the, with the title track. And he's actually singing all the all the vocal parts behind me on the record too. So. Well, you know, and that's what, uh, and you know it, uh, you know better than most, Mark. But you know, a lot of people don't realize how great a lyricist and songwriter Billy Bob is. Also, with his band, the Box Masters, and uh, you know, it, it did not surprise me that you guys partnered up on this uh, with this album. Well, he was a uh, he got it. You know, when I began talking about sort of writing these stories about this fictional character and. And, and as Jonathan Hensley got it, and, 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 and as much as Jonathan is a screenwriter, um, a lot of people would know, you know, he has his new film, The Ice Road, is coming with Liam Neeson. And there's a story there, too. But uh, and Jonathan and I sat down to write and he was sort of helping me figure out songs that would fit these chapters and sort of fit these narratives. And we sat down and began to discuss the son of a gun, which was his title. Mm -hmm. And I love writing with great thinkers and writers and Billy Bob being a screenwriter and Jonathan is a screenwriter and storyteller. It just gave me the freedom to, to tell stories at a, at a much a higher level of, of songwriting for me. It just sort of took my writing, challenged me to write better. And I mean, the, the album has got a lot of great writers on it. I mean, John Scott Sherrill, uh, Tom Douglas, uh, Gary Nicholson, Kenny Greenberg, and Chad Cromwell helped write most of the record with me as we were going through it. I hope people will put it on. It's, it's in vinyl and listen to it. And I hope that there's some healing in those songs and some salvation in these songs and just some good roadhouse rock and roll in these songs too. I'll tell you what, I, I enjoyed the entire album. Uh, I think Holly Springs probably was one of my favorites also, obviously, Son of a Gun and the title track. There were, there's too many great songs on here, and, uh, and it certainly deserves a, a listen. I think on vinyl will really bring this alive. I got to ask you, though, Mark, while I've got you, you know, I think the last time I had you in the TV studio, uh, you, know, you were in the throes of appearing on uh, the hit series Nashville. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other film or TV roles? I mean, besides, you know, releasing a brand new album, you're going to have a graphic novel coming out. You help produce other artists. Are we going to see you on the big screen or the smaller screen in the near future also? You will. You will. That's something I, I love to do. And it's something that I found I can do and, and continue to write songs. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and but I'm excited about making this record and having some new music to play for the fans. And this fall, this summer, uh, we're getting back on the road and we're going to put the band back together and uh, get back on the road and start playing some live dates. So there'll be a lot more of that in the coming months for us. And I do have some opportunities with film and television, and we're just trying to figure out how to balance that with getting back out and playing live. Uh, I can't wait. For that. I'll tell you what, when you come through Nashville, I will be buying a ticket to come see your show <laughs> live. And I hope I get to hear all of this album, Book of My Blues, your brand new album out. It's going to be available on vinyl and everything. I want to make sure where should our viewers, Mark, go for your website, social media, everything to uh, keep up with your tours and all the other great things you got going on. Go, go to markcolley.com, I guess. And you can go to Facebook at Mark Colley, the official markcolley.com. Instagram uh, and Twitter, the Mark Colley. But uh, I think markcolley.com probably sends you everywhere. I'll and tell you what, I, I love the new album. Congratulations, Mark, on releasing Book of My Blues. Can't wait to see you live and uh, see what other exciting things you have going on this year. Thanks for uh, joining us on the Rock and Review. Thanks for having me. Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show. 